Welcome back. He was the international creative director and head photographer of Elle magazine in New York for many years and has photographed some of the world's most beautiful women. His portfolio includes Christy Turlington, Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell and Al McPherson. It is our absolute pleasure to welcome Gilles Ben Simon to the cafe, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. It is a pleasure to have you in the studio. We've all seen your work throughout magazines throughout the years. I mean, mm. you have photographed, as we said, some of the most beautiful women in the world. Has there any, been anyone who's really surprised you or been unexpected? The next one. The next one. <laughs> yeah, the next one. Always the next one is the unexpected one, is it? Yeah, the, I think the next one will be the best. Yeah? But you photo how can you say that? You photograph Al McPherson, we've done more than Yeah, but it's done. Actually. It's done. Yeah? The next one. Do you, do you spot X Factor straight away? Can you look at someone and go, they have X Factor? Well, I don't think so, honestly not. Really? No, no. You managed to capture it though so well. No, but uh, you know, I always say every woman is beautiful at some point. That's why, you know, it, it's not, sometimes you get a feeling the girl is amazing, but you discover that working with her. So it's all about the personality as well. It's yeah. just not about the form. Because it's more the personality, I think. That shines through on the photos. I think, yes, I think so. Because and some talent also. Because it is really interesting. When you look at a picture of a woman, there is a real art to photographing the female form, isn't it? I mean, how do you, how do you go about it? Because you're obviously not going to do the same thing for each one. Look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> I will probably not answer. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a cheeky one. Yeah, OK, well, look, before we talk about why you're here in New Zealand, I wanted to ask you a question about how... What is your secret when it... Because you've dated some beautiful women, married some beautiful women mm. as well. What is your secret? Is it, is it your personality? Is it, is it uh, travel? I'll tell you, uh, you don't have to ask me this question because I consider myself a really bad choice. I don't even choose myself. You wouldn't even choose no, yourself? No, I don't do <laughs> But you were just saying before, actually, when we were off camera, that you've got the secret to, well, your secret has been just to say yes all the time to these beautiful women. And that's worked out quite nicely for you, hasn't it? Most of the time. I don't do, use the word yes. I use all the words like it's a great idea. I always, say, I always agree. After. So that, that's the secret, always agree. Yeah, always agree. I don't, well, that I don't think that's the secret. Well, that actually sounds like a pretty good thing to me. Uh, you're married to Al, um, and you actually caught up with her last week, didn't you, in Sydney? Yeah. So you've obviously got a really good relationship still. No, we have a great relationship. Yeah? And you say yes to her all the time? Absolutely. She asks you to do something? <laughs> Against my there? will most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you working on something with her now? Yes, uh, I, I work with her on this uh, new lingerie, you know, line. Yeah, Al McPherson uh, body. body. Uh, she's really into it. That's why she tells me what to do and I agree all the time. <laughs> Sounds perfect to me. <laughs> Sounds perfect. OK, well, let's talk about why you're here in New Zealand. Um, you've been working with Eden Bristow, working on a campaign for cocoa oil. What did you like about Eden? No, the first, I'll, uh, about Eden, uh, let's talk about the, the, the sun product. You know, you live in a place in the world like uh, Australia, New Zealand, where the sun is really the biggest problem, and you don't have, I don't know if it exists, you know, you, you, a, a product made in Australia or in New Zealand. Uh, for example, also about sports line, you, are, you know, you have probably the most sport people in the world. Yes. And you don't even have your own line of clothes, of clothing. Right. <laughs> well, that's that's why point. I think Coco is about that also. And I think Eden was also, she's from New Zealand. That was, I was a, it was a good combination. So you got to choose her from anyone that you wanted to work with? No, I, I, I work with the people of Coco also, you know, to have the girls. Uh, but I think the choice was really good. Yeah. And the shoot went well? I think so. Do you get nervous? <laughs> Do you get nervous before you go and take uh, the The truth missions? is I get extremely... I'm really anxious about any shoot. Right. But you've been doing this it's for a long become, time. It's become even worse. Now I have to go back to LA and I'm preparing a shoot for a magazine for a cover. I never stop texting because I'm so anxious about what... I'm, sometimes <laughs> I say we never get anything. But you're not anxious that your work's not going to be good because your work is obviously No, good. I'm anxious it not be good. I'm anxious... When I start working, it works. But just before, I'm so anxious. 
do you know when you've got the right photo? I think I know sometimes. Right. Most of the time I know. I get the feeling I get something. And would you photograph her because she's beautiful? Oh, don't just... Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I say yes now. And I plan to come back anyway. Yeah, nice, OK. Excellent, good. I like that for the portfolio. Hey, it's been an absolute pleasure having you in the studio and enjoy the rest of your time in New Zealand. Beautiful work, absolutely stunning. If you can make me look like Al, that would be amazing. That would be great. We'll do, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice.